a humanoid robot, just danced live on a concert stage. And this moment may say more about the future of robotics than any lab demo ever could. Recently, Unitree's G1 humanoid robots appeared on stage during a live concert in China, performing a synchronized dance routine alongside human performers in front of thousands of people. This wasn't a tech expo. This wasn't a controlled robotics showcase. This was a real concert, real music, real timing, and zero room for error. Multiple humanoid robots moved in rhythm, coordinated their arms and legs with precision, maintained balance under stage lighting and crowd pressure, and executed dynamic movements that most bipedal robots still struggle to perform reliably. If you don't want to miss moments like this as they happen, make sure you're subscribed, as we provide no hype, real robot breakdowns. Now let's be very clear about what this was and what it wasn't. This performance was almost certainly pre-programmed and carefully choreographed. It wasn't spontaneous intelligence or creative decision-making, but dismissing it as just a dance completely misses the point. For a humanoid robot, dancing is one of the hardest physical challenges imaginable. Every step requires continuous balance correction. Every shift in weight must be calculated in real time. The robot has to coordinate its entire body, legs, torso, arms, and head, while staying upright, stable, and synchronized with music and human performers. That level of whole body control is not trivial. It's the foundation for everything humanoid robots are expected to do in the real world. What Unitree demonstrated here is confidence in physical mastery. And this is where Unitree's strategy becomes clear. While companies like Tesla are emphasizing long-term autonomy, safety, and real-world usefulness, Unitree has aggressively pushed the physical limits of humanoid robots, agility, speed, balance, and motion quality. The G1 has already been shown running, jumping, and now performing live on stage in front of massive audiences. Even Elon Musk reacted to this performance, calling it impressive. That reaction matters because it acknowledges that this wasn't a gimmick, it was a legitimate demonstration of advanced motion control. But there's a deeper implication here. Humanoid robots are not just machines that work. They are machines that share space with humans. And how a robot moves determines how people feel around it. A robot that moves stiffly feels unnatural. A robot that moves unpredictably feels unsafe. A robot that moves smoothly earns trust. This is why performances like this matter. Before humanoid robots can work in homes, hospitals, or public spaces, they must first master human-like motion. Intelligence alone isn't enough. A robot that thinks well but moves poorly will never be accepted. Unitree's G1 dance wasn't about entertainment. It was about showing control, reliability, and confidence in the body itself. Now compare that with Tesla's Optimus. Optimus is being tested in public environments, focusing on safety, interaction, and gradual deployment. Unitree is pushing physical capability at full speed. Two different philosophies, two different priorities, both aiming at the same future. And this raises a critical question. As humanoid robots move closer to real deployment, what will matter first, intelligence or physical mastery? Because before a robot can replace human labor, assist daily life, or work alongside us, it must first move like it belongs here. The Unitree G1 didn't just dance on a stage. It delivered a signal. The humanoid robot race is no longer happening behind closed doors. It's unfolding in public, under pressure, in front of real people. And it's accelerating fast. If you want clear, honest breakdowns of humanoid robots, real-world demos, and who's actually leading this race. Subscribe to the channel. The future of robotics isn't theoretical anymore. It's already stepping into the spotlight.